Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. So in our previous topic, we have seen about processing requests in application server ABAP 1, that is part 1, where we have seen the different components of a work process, the shared memory, the different types of work process like dialog, update and lock. So the remaining two work process that is pool, background and the other services like the message server and the web dispatcher we are going to see in this part 2. The first one is printing. So that is the spool work process. Any data which is created and formatted in a dialog step can then be sent to the printers and other output interfaces like fax, email etc. You must first set up the printer in the system before it can be used. So this printing in the SAP system is taken care by spool work process. So whenever there is like you know a particular data has to be formatted and it has to be sent to some printer or other output device like it can be a mail or a fax okay so this formatting is done by the spool work process so whenever a dialog work process you know comes for a print statement it encounters then the spool work process takes over okay and then it formats the data and it sends out to the operating system spooler for printing a spool request contains information about the data to be output the formatting details and the printer model used the spool request generated is stored in temc temporary sequential file a spool work process formats the data specified in the spool request and creates an output request the output request contains all data in an appropriate format for the printer this data can either be passed on to an appropriate operating system spool process locally or remotely okay. so what happens is like whenever in the ABAP program a print statement comes so the spool work process task begins okay so what it does is like a spool what is the spool request first we'll see it contains information about what data has to be outputted in the formatting details and the what is the printer the printer details so the spool request is generated and it is stored in temc it is nothing but these are sequential files which are stored in the operating system so a spool work process formats the data specified in the spool request and creates an output request which is understood by the operating system spooler so a dialog work process what it does it 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 you know it creates a spool request okay so like it contains like what data has to be outputted the formatting and what is the the printer or, or like printer or fax machine or whatever it is those details now the spool work process takes the spool request and it formats it into an output request the output request it contains all the data in an appropriate format which is understood by the printer okay so this is then this output request is sent on to the operating system spooler where the actual print system is so it can be locally means both the where the host on which the sap system is from the same host the operating system spooler is there or if the operating system spooler is on a different host it's known as operating system uh, it's called as remote printing in an SAP system the connection between a spool work process and the operating system spool process is known as the access method so it's not like local printer or remote printer means like local means so local one remote means it's 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 not dependent on the printer it is dependent on the operating system spool okay if the operating system spooler is on the same host as that of SAP okay so the spool work process has to sense like it's on the same host so it's a local connection local access method if the operating system spooler is on a different host that of an sap server so the spool work process has to connect remotely to the operating system spooler that's known as remote access method okay so once a spool request is created by the dialog work process Okay, whenever a print statement comes, the dialog work process creates a spool request. These are stored in TEMC, 
temporary sequential files at the operating system level. For the operating system spool, uh, the spool work process takes the spool request. It creates an output request which is understood by the printer. Okay, then it passes on to the operating system spooler where the request is printed or faxed or if it's not printed, it can be sent as an email also from the operating system. Okay, so that is about printing and spool work process used for printing. The next one is background processing, background work process. Mm. SAP background processing is a way for automating routine tasks and the optimizing the SAP computing resources of your organization. The characteristics of background processing are as follows. You can use background processing to automatically start scheduled programs. You can use background processing to execute long running or resource intensive programs at off peak times. You can use background processing to execute reports and programs. There is no strain on your dialogue resources and the reports that are run in background are not subject to the runtime restrictions of dialogue processing like termination of the program after runtime of 5 minutes etc. Now, why this background processing is there because like if there are any periodic tasks okay to enable such periodic tasks or you know to optimize the computing resources we have introduced background work processing okay so these background work process they automatically start like some scheduled jobs are there like every monday a job has to run or you know every day at 5 pm a job has to run all such periodic ones are, ha are handled by these background work process okay then you can use background work processing to execute long running or resource intensive programs like if a program is very long running okay and it's like using more resources which has to be run at off peak times then you schedule using background you can use background processing to execute reports and programs and there is no strain on your dialogue resources okay and the ones the background work process are not subject to runtime restrictions of dialogue processing so dialogue processing has a limitation in sap so every dialogue work just to you know uh, like to reduce the load on the system like if we let a dialogue work process running forever then you know it will be continuously running okay and like if n number of users you know use n number of dialogue process continuously then the system performance will be impacted so if every dialogue work process has you know one limitation like a particular timer is set okay like five minutes or ten minutes so more than that, a dialogue work process will terminate the execution of that particular program. Say like if I am running a report for one hour, can't run it for one hour in dialogue process. Okay. So after five minutes or 10 minutes, like depending upon like the default value which is set by the system administrator, your program gets terminated. Okay. So such constraint is not there on background processing. Okay, so uh, whenever a background work process is scheduled, okay, it also maintains in tables, okay, the background scheduler, it maintains all the particular list of jobs in a table. So whenever that time has come, the background scheduler allocates each of the top job to a particular background work process. Okay, so, so say like I have input something a value in a screen and have saved it as a job which has to run every day for five minutes so the dialog work process prepares that and it puts in this table so whenever that every day 5 pm hits the system this background scheduler picks that and it allocates that program to a background free background work process or you yourself can you know uh, run a program either in dialog mode or background mode depending upon the limitations it's a long running one you have to schedule in background so then if you save it it will be stored again in this table so then the background scheduler allocates it to a free background work process okay so for long running programs or periodic ones this background processing is used so all the these are known as jobs okay 
this batch processing or jobs these are all this is stored in some tables in the background there is a background scheduler which checks the table and whenever the time has come for any of the job to run it will hand over that task to a free background work process okay and at least like we we know that we have studied earlier that background work in an sap system there should be at least one background work process but whenever there is an up sap upgrade or transports are being imported it sh you should have two background work process but in a real world scenario every instance in a system will have n number of background work process okay and every instance earlier we have studied like every instance should have two dialog work process we should have one nq and sap system should have one nq and at least one update work process and one spool and work process but you can configure many also like you can have many spool or many update or similarly you can have one or more nq work process in an sap system similarly we can have one or more background work process also in an sap system then the gateway the gateway process every instance of an abap system contains a gateway the gateway is used for communication between the work process of various instances or sap systems by using a remote function call or sapic common programming interface for communications the gateway is also used for communication between work process and external programs the gateway reader it's usually called as the gateway is the main process of the gateway system the dispatcher starts the gateway and checks it periodically so every instance will have a gateway but the entire sap system will have only one message server the message server helps in communication between the different instances of an sap system whereas the gateway it helps in communication between the work process of various instances or even different sap systems also using remote function calls or sapic okay so every instance will have a dispatcher accompanied with a gateway so once an uh, communication has to be made to a third party or to a different system the dialog work process makes a communication through an rfc so then the gateway is involved it will inter communicate with the gateway of the other sap system or the third party and then the request is sent to that particular dialog for dialog work process in that particular system so two sap systems are there this dialog work process communicates with the ga gateway of this instance similarly that dialog work process communicates with the gateway of that instance and through gateways these two sap systems communicate so gateway is used for communication between different instances or sap systems also whereas a message server helps only in communication between the dis different instances of an sap single sap system and here every instance should have one gateway process now icm the entire you know concept of icm is meant only for web request processing the internet communication manager enables sap systems to communicate using http https and smtp protocols the icm can process requests from the internet that include its server port combination and their urls so entire concept of icm is you know to process the request coming from web okay so whenever like a url is issued with a server port combination okay so then such requests are sent to the icm okay and this icm uses http or https or smtp protocols https http or s https requests can be processed either in the abap work process that is abap web demo applications or forwarded to application server java java web demo applications so the icm will come to know from the url whether this is an app or a java request and if it is a dual stack system okay then it sends accordingly to the app stack or the java stack 
the ICM can use the URL to decide to where it forwards the request if it's a dual stack. If a database data is required for an ABAP server, a connection to a work process is created using memory pipes. If it's a request, if it is directed to a Java server, then it's sent to the Java dispatcher. If it's 7.0 or lower, or else it directly forwards to the Java server process. The Java dispatcher, dispatcher is replaced by ICM and SAP NetWeaver 7.1 X or higher. The Java server process the, then refers to the database Java scheme if applicable and sends the response back to the ICM. Finally, the ICM uh, sends the response from the SAP system to the user who sent the request. So, in an ABAP system, the ICM sends the request to the ABAP dispatcher. So, the processing is made and the ABAP dis through the dialog work process and it sends back the request to the ICM. Then it sends to the web, web page. If it is Java, so earlier in 7.0 or lower, okay, we had Java dispatcher. So ICM sends to Java dispatcher, it, it processes through the server work process and it sends the request back to the ICM, the Java dispatcher. In 7.1 or higher, so there is no Java dispatcher, the ICM itself sends the request to one or the available server process and sends it back to the web. So if it's a dual stack, so the first purpose of ICM is to process request from the web. Second thing, if it is an ABAP stack, we know it comes from ICM to ABAP dispatcher and dialog work process. Similarly, it goes back. If it is Java 7.0 or lower, ICM sends to Java dispatcher, then it gets processed to the server work process and it goes back. If it is 7.1 or higher, then ICM directly process, it allocates the request to the available server process and it sends back to the web. And the ICM will know, like if it's a dual stack, the ICM can differentiate whether the from the URL, like which will have a server port and followed by the application, it will come to know whether that request has to be sent to the ABAP stack or the Java stack okay so we have seen three uh, four important you know concepts here one is the spool work process then the background processing then we have seen what is a gateway server and please remember the difference between gateway and message server and last we have seen like what is an ICM so with this, we, we finish our entire topic like processing requests in an ABAP system. So where we have come to know like the individual components of a work process, then what are the various types of services and the work process of an application server is. Okay. Thank you.